one. Happy birthday, birthday to Todd. Happy birthday to Todd. Happy birthday, dear Toddy. Happy birthday to Todd. Anyways, here we go. Now, I'm doing the, I switched over from StreamYard to Restream, so this is kind of like, not really like the testing, but, you know, <laughs> be a little goofy here, so. Does the audio work, folks? Yeah, your audio is then fine, and Jeff's is doing great, and I guess mine's all right. So. We're live online, too. We're live. Oh, you got my webcam right here. Are we live online? Yeah, we're live on my channel. All right, yeah, let's see what we first one. And, and, and too. Oh heck, we are. We're live. All righty, cool. So somewhere I'll figure out how to do that schedule the event thing. I'm sure Greg could tell me how to do that. Yeah, you know, we don't know what the hell we're doing tonight. We're just gonna get on here and you know everybody's just gonna run their mouth. <laughs> so so that seems to be the one thing we're very good at. So if you're in the chat, or if you pop oh. in, make sure you say hey so we know who's there. I guess I need to put the chat on here. <laughs> Now I can see. Now here's that overlay. Do you see it? I don't know if you guys want that overlay thing or not. What's the overlay? Uh, you guys can can you see it on the screen? It's supposed to be on the left. Yeah, new comments will display here. The issue is nobody's commenting, and I feel like yeah, I know. After I mean, a minute or so on most of our streams, we usually had somebody chiming in with some sort of smart assery. Although this was a truly blind start, wasn't it? Oh yeah, there was no notice or anything. Oh, oh do we have a test test? Yeah, that's from Hexy. Yeah, but I, I didn't do any like marketing. Turn on the little anything. thing again. Turn it on again. Let's see if it shows up. Yeah. Turn, oh, turn on the overlay. Oh, oh hey. Oh, that maybe was, there's John Howley. All right. John there Howley. We nice. Um, we are live. It's working. John, can you hear us? Did you hear the singing? Was it terrible? It was terrible. The audio must be messed up. So, yeah, I might have to get this camera out of the way. I was having that view in the. You guys Whatever. might not know this, but Jeff is a classically seen, classically trained opera singer. He trained under Luciano Pavarotti. Oh, gee. So, all right. Well, do you guys want to leave it like that? Like, put the chat overlay or not? Sure. It means you don't have to spend six or seven minutes reading the chat at the start of the stream every stream. Oh, all right. Just makes us look smaller. We're, you know, we're we're big time. You know. Well, yeah, but but my my camera isn't up and Jeff isn't as pretty as you. <laughs> John, we could bloody well hear you. Um, Outstanding. Okay, they can hear us real well. Yeah, like I was saying before, I'm just trying a new streaming. You know, went from StreamYard over to Restream here. Just to see how this works. So pretty much the same thing. And from what I understand, StreamYard was uh, branched off from Restream. I guess Restream was like one of the first came out uh, what I, told. I don't know so i went back to the granddaddy i guess but, um, Thank uh, yes. i'm actually just uh also if you hear any uh kid noises like jeff and i just heard kid did a face plant and start screaming or something in the hallway so it's, it's my grand grand boys and all that but um no i decided i'm trying to build a uh like an adobe it's uh from tabletop scenic and uh oh shoot sorry my nose all right there's four people watching on my channel say hello so we know who's there hi Thank you. yeah yeah so yeah uh so mcmurray's had a day off i'm sure he's done some kind of miniature stuff or whatever um, no, <laughs> not a whole lot. Uh, I was, um, I was talking to my old man today though. Oh, and he was explaining that. So I've been cleaning, you know, stuff out of their house slash basement as you will. Um, and I was explaining that when I, I mean, when I was a kid, he built a, an end scale, train layout oh yeah um in the basement 
on a big eight by four piece of plywood that he built an underframe on and he wired it up and he built it and tacked it all down and all that stuff. Um, and then he was wondering, cause he had seen in being over at my house, a bunch of those houses that I printed in 15 mil and painted up <clears throat> that most of you are familiar with from Brian's channel. Um, yeah. And he asked me if I thought I could print some end scale buildings so that he and my niece and nephew could play on. Hey, Nerd Nerd, what's up? Um, but so he was asking if I, I thought I could print some end scale buildings for them to play with the train, train set and do train set stuff. I don't think he's necessarily wanting to build a full layout because. Again, my niece and nephew are 10 and about to turn eight. Um, but I was quite thrilled by the idea of printing out things that they can play with and that he can use. Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to be goofing with today. I need to figure out what the, well, somebody in here will know. So if I'm trying to get something to, from one 100 scale to one 160th scale, I need to figure out what I need to do to, you know what I mean, to get that okay. appropriately sized. I've, I've, I've scaled from 15 mil to just about everything. And honestly, most of those are kind of just in my head as to what I need to scale for, except for I don't know what. I just saw something I don't like with this thing. What's that, buddy? I can't, I can't text chat in this restream thing. Like oh, you, you can't, can't in the stream yard. You did it earlier, didn't you, with your test test? No, uh, I had my YouTube page open. Oh, okay. Does it have the? Do you have like a chat on the side on the right? Uh, yeah, right I can side? see your chat, but I don't have a box that I can enter anything like I can in reach. And then I can private chat you all. Oh yeah, see that's how um, that's how Streamyard is mobile. I didn't even. I always figured you were just sitting on your YouTube typing into the thing. Uh... Yeah. When we were on StreamYard too, I didn't realize that that was something you were doing from the. Yeah. Oh well, it's no biggie. Uh, no, because that that'd be. Uh, Engage is really close, John. If it's one one sixty, it's really close to um, ten millimeters. Just a little bit lower, or on the small end of ten mil. Because like most things, there's a little bit of scale spread in ten millimeter. But most ten millimeter is relatively commonly accepted as um, one one forty four or one one sixty. Um, and two miles, like one, 600, uh, hang on, I can look that up. No, it'd be, it's less than that. What? Engage. Engage is, I'm, I'm looking at an alleged thing right now where N is oh. one to one sixty. Okay. So yeah, uh, sorry. So yes. Uh, one to one hundred fifty two is ship scale two mils, so a foot is two millimeters. Um, so yes, John, that is a confusing little trip up there. Uh, in two mil to a foot versus um oh geez, versus two millimeter miniatures. But yes, good call. All right. It's not too loud. No. You're good. Uh, yeah. um, there. Oh, there you go. Well, it happens, man. They're a little. They'll be going to sleep here soon. Um, Another two hours. <laughs> yeah, minutes. yeah. So again, it's it's a difference between uh, like miniature scale system and like a model scale system, right? So double O railways are um, nominally, what is it, um, 176, right? One to 76. Yeah. Which, yes, is four millimeter to um, a foot in scale. But most miniature scales go by the height of the miniature, either to eye or top of head. So that's where you have like 28 millimeter is approximately 28 millimeters from the bottom of the feet to the top of the head or the eyes. Um, but that translates into about one fiftieth ish scale, depending on what kind of 
28 millimeter miniatures you're doing just like 15 millimeter miniatures are nominally 15 millimeters tall well, this is but they're one to 100 i know jeffy i'm sorry buddy from the bottom to the top it's a half an inch and even from the left to the right it's a half an inch scale oh, we're talking yeah. about okay. other stuff jeffy Oh, here's the size of the chip. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Chitty. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, <okay. laughs> yeah. Is the door bolted shut? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm God, I love my life. Yeah. You guys you guys <laughs> missed an awesome stream a few weeks ago over on Not Jay's channel where Brian's delightful wife, who is legitimately awesome, uh, let his grandsons into what say good night, Brian, or something like that. Yeah, they came and say good night. I had the table set up too. And they, uh, boy, on. howdy, they went full blown King Kong on his tripods and whatnot. It was entertaining yeah. on our end. It's, a, it's still on there. I left it on there. So terrifying on Brian's end. Yeah, but uh, we locked the door and all that here when we're not here. So, but um, to this room. Yeah. Yeah, you probably have to, I would think. He's got a great big like wily e. coyote looking uh padlock on the outside with a hasp on it and stuff. Surprising I just see behind me what's going on. It looks like a game, but I can't you can't tell what it is. Let me see. Go. Whoop. Yeah, the oh, issue yeah. is the overlays over the whole table now. Uh -oh. oh hey Jeffy, you see what's in the corner there? I see a big mud pie. I see Pikachu Peak, baby. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not going to be able to play it now, that's for sure. Because no, got, but I'm setting it up now. He's got too many Indians running around the house now. <laughs> cool. I don't know for live play, man. I don't know. What do you mean for live play? What the heck? What I got going on in the outer region. Oh. <laughs> I mean, they aren't there all the time, are they? Yeah. Oh, they are? Yeah. Wait till they're asleep. Oh, here we go. You hear that? No. Little little boys, they're the screamers. You figure it would be girls, but... Hey, Chris, oh. what's up? Hey, Hi. Chris, what's going on, buddy? Oh. Hi, Jay of Cottage. He should be on the road, right? Yeah. I, I thought he was last night. No, he was. No, he was. Uh, we had a stream last night. He's on the road today. He messaged me just earlier in the afternoon. He told me what he was doing. Uh, Turn that shit off. Uh, we can see it on the right side of the screen. Anybody? All right. Yeah, hey, that's fly I leave like that. Uh, but, no, I mean they got to sleep sometime, don't they, Brian? Well, like you like know, right? 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 they're already, especially Jeff. It's like eleven over there. No, I mean, like, don't they take naps and stuff? When I'm at work. Yeah, not 5.30 at night. <laughs> yeah. No. So, it, it, it's a, yeah, they, there's a lot of things that's happening over here. Okay, so, so have any of us accomplished anything in, like, the last week? Other than, I see Brian throwing some videos up. Those are all scheduled videos from <laughs> well, I know Andrew and I haven't done a damn thing in a week. Yeah. Uh, uh, like I said last night, I, I was on uh, Chris's show for a few minutes there. I just been building and priming. That's about That's all I've been doing. Uh, I actually looked at some of the magazine games again. So I'm like, huh? But I would rather see you playing those than trying to set up Pikachu Pass. Pikachu Pass. I gotta get this Pikachu Peak out of the way. So, but uh. You know, you know how this got real gray. Yeah. Yeah. I was commenting yesterday that you're all salt, no pepper, buddy. Well, John, John, hang in there because uh, wardrobe and I we scheduled some things last night. We're trying to tie down. We'll probably do something on the 18th. We may do something on the 19th, and we may do something on the 25th. Damn, dude! Fuck that McMurray guy. No, you're you're part of it. We're trying to figure out when, when, we're trying to figure out when we get the one guy on what night that's gonna be, so I make sure you know. 
You're just like, yeah, we made all these plans last night while McMurray was streaming on a on on the old channel, and then didn't ask him about fucking any of them. <sighs> but anyways, um, Brian, what's the difference? <laughs> What'd you say? You'll show up anyhow. What's the damn difference? Well, that's true, but. What if I was getting late or something? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, never mind. That's why we didn't tell you. <laughs> um, but, uh, Jeffy, that's a cool background. What's that from? That is one of the best games that nobody plays. What's that? Army of the Heartland. I played nice. it, and the whole world asked me about it, and I told them it's a wonderful game. If you got it, you need to play it. The rules are not bad. Now, now, Army of the Heartland. Different story. Yeah. Did you guys see what Toddy got for his birthday? No, oh, his game. Yeah, he bought it. He, yeah. I sent him the link. Oh, he, he bought was, it. Uh, yeah, well, I sent him the link the other day when somebody posted on Facebook, and he jumped all over it. Man, Facebook, because the new ones not. It's going to be years before they release the new version. He said it was a birthday present, so I got all excited and asked him who sent it to him and all that stuff because I was happy for him. It is kind of a birthday present. I didn't realize he got it all, or he got it for himself. Now I feel like a doofus. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's where he got it. So. Chris has eight gauge at nine mil. Uh, so. What'd you say? Chris said eight gauge at nine mil. Exactly, yeah. So again, it's it's on the smaller side of ten mil because some ten mil is that size. If you go with like Pendraken and stuff, versus like uh, Old Glory and whatnot, it's usually um, one one forty four. That being said, they're pretty hard to tell apart, especially when it's guys who are wearing helmets and hats and whatnot. But yeah, uh, <clears throat> oh, oh, just like that. So. I'm a little bummed that you can't do the chat on here, though. I mean, I could type message here, but you guys can't. Yeah, I have to go to my my That's YouTube. Sorry. I got my YouTube up so that if I need to type something in, I mean, you know, hopefully you don't have to. You just talk, but. Yeah. So, besides everything else seems to be running just like StreamYard. So. I mean, it's pretty. It's clean. The layout's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. I don't know what this other window is I have over here to the left. Well, and we can always have some, you know. Oh, no. Don't break it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really oh, here I got it. Here's McMurray. There he is. Got him back. There he is. There. Where are you? Hello. There he is. Can you hear me? We hear you. Can you, you hear, us? hear us? Can you hear me? We hear you, yes. Yes, I can hear you. You guys were playing music oh. and stuff. Well, we were. Yeah. 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 It's off, right? It's off, okay. All right, good deal. Now that's the other thing. See, it doesn't make the beeping noise uh, when someone wants to pop in. I have to watch this uh, little thing. It says people, and then watch the bubble go boop. So, you gotta pay attention to that. Yeah, somebody just wants to buy my Beyond Valor. Come on. What was that? He's, somebody's buying one of my games off Facebook uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Yeah, literally. Oh shoot! But, uh, okay, uh, my, uh, but Jeff's turning into his very own little noble knight games over here. Oh, Nordic arrived. So I guess the party can start. So good. Yeah, somebody can throw up some chitty chatty stuff. Yeah, I, I can scream yeah. talking, but there's not too many. I mean. I wish I knew how to market it so everyone knew we were gonna come on. But, you just schedule it out in front of this, but yeah. Well, it's different on here. Now. I gotta figure it out. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. So, because yeah, I was able to do it on Streamyard, no problem. So, 
J.J. Oh, it's just okay. So, all right. Maelstrom of Nordic. Yeah. What are you playing? Oh, you still playing France 40? Oh, jeez. Hello, hello. Can anybody hear me? Is there anyone at home? I hear There's you. no one home, but yes, I can hear you guys. There's never anybody home with this group. Oh. But I painted up a 15 uh, Confederate. Ooh. Oh, man, there you go. You painted up a 15 milliliter Confederate? Sweet. Yeah. Only like 10 more to go. And then do like wow. 13 Union guys. And then we'll have Peachy Pass. Top famous mules of World War One. What'd you say? Famous duels of World War One? Famous mules of World War One. Famous mules. Uh, the Mademoiselle of Armentier. I don't know. Never heard of her. What the heck? Hit by, hit by hurricane. Hit by hurricane. Rock me like a hurricane. Who wants to buy all my Europa games? All of them. There's like 15 of them up there. Uh, they're too expensive. They are. You're not kidding. Me. <laughs> so, and so you're you're looking at the guy who buys the magazine ones, right? So. I got to go through my my little plastic bins because I have a butt ton of those magazine games in there. Oh, John's here. John, I saw your. Uh, oh, John, what's up? I saw your your gladiators and stuff, John. They look awesome. I did not, Nord. I did not feel it. Get skinny, Brian. Yeah, buddy. What? God dang, guys. Look at the leg. Calf. Look at the shitter on that critter. Um, yeah, dude, Brian, flex your, flex your legs for us, buddy. Don't hurt yeah, you. look at them calves. God cramp. damn. Oh, cramp, cramp. Oh, my God, cramp. No, 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 no. Charlie horse. <laughs> Brian eats a half dozen bananas a day and takes extra potassium pills. I took a guess. I don't want this one. We can't even see what you're doing. Like, it, you quite literally have yourself cut off at about the belly button. Dang, man, those jean shorts, though, Jeff. You look at those things. He's styling. He's got. He, he, he got the. He's got the jean shorts and the New Balances, dog. I thought the that's how you know that man can cut some fucking grass. I thought the jean shorts went out in the eighties. Um, Tony Bryant. My dad wore jean shorts, so I wear jean shorts. That's just the way it's been. So, nice. So his, his were good cut off on hands and all that. So let's see if I can do this right. I shorts. I let's see. Um, what was it? Hey, I like grandmas. See what happens. Oh, that didn't work. Nope, that didn't work. Never mind. Shorts. <laughs> Shorts. He's got the legs to drive grandma's crazy. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I dude. Have, I have desert fox from SPI set up. And I've read. Yeah, you're staring at the desert fox right now, big dog, up in the top right. Two sections of rules read. That's it. There you go. John's bringing us back on track. Oh, what's his camera? This is a painting show. Who put that shit up there in the top? What? Yeah, what, what, what are you what? complaining about? Miniature oh. War Games bite. Hex encounter rules. Oh, sure. Sure. <clears throat> uh, can we have a close up of the figures Mini is painting? I'm not painting any right now. It's been priming. But I busted but, out something here if I could figure out how to get this stupid screen thing working. Nope, don't do that. It's gonna blow it all over. Wow, never mind. I am playing oh there's my food. I am playing Desert Fox. Why don't I just do this? I'm playing that. There it is. Green deck that works. Have to get printed on more Arabic buildings. If I can leave that up while I grab my food out of the microwave and y'all don't have to watch me eat it. <laughs> so, what'd I do? 
What did I do? I can't camera down anymore. Eh, he right. plays all kinds of games. Uh, hi, I'm on live. <laughs> Say hi to the wife. Hi. Hi, Laura. Hello. It's good to not see you. Sorry you have to see Brian every day. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Jeffy's playing. What is that? Um, he was showing it. To, he was showing it off a couple days ago. I don't remember what it's called. Um, it's 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 some North Africa game. I don't remember what the name of it is. This is killing me. Um, Desert Fox. Desert Fox. Twenty. Right, literally right. just told us. But yeah. Here we go. Yep. Yeah, that's a desert game, right? There you go. It's Africa. Duel in the desert. Rommel's campaign in North Africa. Nice. What's the name of that one called? Huh? What's that one called? Duel in the desert. Uh, <laughs> it's one of those where uh, you play against each other, where you have one side of the map, and then the other person has their side of the map. But I figure I could just use one. Oh, crap. I'm probably going to get banned now from YouTube because, you know, oh, no. Oh no. Oh. oh, did you have the the bad the bad crooked cross? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, dude, that's why I couldn't I didn't wind up painting those on those Panzer Schiff um Plan Z battleships and stuff that I had. Because we were talking about it and Todd's like, I don't know if that would flag on YouTube or not. And it was one of those, well, if I'm gonna show them off on Toddy's channel, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. Nordic, have you ever played Brazen Furious? Because I think it's a very good game. So is the old Nordic one. Yeah, I mean, look, I was going to build my lousy Adobe in my game. Yes, yeah, he started that he was going to build some uh, seat, some 28 mil scenery. And now Jeff's got him doing hex encounter what kind of weird uh, just sorry look at this one because parallel one looks... universe is going on here i think i can do this one man victory condition i can't even pronounce the names at any time a player controls l Odelia. dang you're right and tobruk and alexandria the game really ends and just has to win for that player the Germans so, grab Alexandria, they win. If the Allies grab El Agilia, they win. If a player holds both El Agilia and Alexandria at the end of the game, he achieved an operational win? Yep, they won the whole the whole theater. Interesting. But this is only... Uh, I thought it was only... Oh, there's the combat results table that I still get so dang freaking confused over. Oh, die roll goes up to seven. What? Why is that? No, but you're blurry. You don't have any D7s? No, your camera's just blurry, brother. Oh, it's because of the Boy, it's like real dark. I wonder why. I got the light like right on top of it. D7, man. That's weird. Why is that? You know why? It's a hex encounter game. Yeah, dude. It's just inherently dark and, and dreary and unhappy and depressing. <laughs> Track it has nine turns in it. Hell yeah. Can you actually write down your steps or something here? All them charts for you. You're not going to play that. Just go ahead and pack it back up and put it up for sale. The most challenging computer games at the most reasonable prices. I used to have that. SSG. Avalon Hill. My fire and sword. Group. I had a huh? bunch of those games. They had one called Camp Group that I used to use as training in the Army. What was the name of it again? Camp Grupa. Camp Rupa. Not on here. 
Mm -hmm. Avalon Hill Game Company. Fire and Sword. Circus Maximus. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Simulations Canada. Battle of the Atlantic. Oh, Chickamauga. Anyway, but yeah, it's kind of interesting to read the old magazines and all that. Right. Dude, it's only five pages or seven pages for uh, the rules on this one. Yeah, sometimes with magazine games, though, those are some dense ass pages that are like two or three columns of size eight font. Yeah, that's true. I've noticed that. So, I will play it, man. Because, you know, what the heck? What do I have to lose? It's only like most of these things cost only like three to five bucks. Yeah. So, and this is the other reason. It's just because of that. <laughs> no 3,000 chips. So, but, um, nah. Nordic, I have, oh, you guys already read Nordic's comment here? Sorry, I haven't been paying attention. Give it a whirl, Mutt. I will give it a whirl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So. But very little lost like Murray again. Oh, he's gone again? What the yeah. heck? You got other you got other magazine games too though. You but well, you never did fit, get to play Saratoga again because you had to move. I had to move, yeah. I had to move. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here. Do, 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 do. Oh, I gotta get my stream deck going again. So, so I don't have to click all these buttons. There. But yeah, uh, it used to be right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, not there anymore. So, I just set that up and maybe what, two weeks later. So, boo. What's the move for, John? The realization is coming in that I am indeed surrounded by a holes, Chris. Ah. Okay. <laughs> so, see, that's a little 11 by 17 map, isn't it? Yeah. Um, well, John, so the Todd recommended since I couldn't decide what marker garden game we would attempt to tackle next that we tackle decision at else so that means i need to be force fed guns and tanks but we're probably not we probably won't do that though till close to september uh, um, this is the third scenario from any dm plan and yeah. it's almost done todd finished up now he was in he was playing the second one trying to catch up to me but my American's about to lose that game. All right. See, there's not many chits in that. So. So. Doesn't look like. It's probably a star kid's pretty fun. Oh. Uh, but. Anyways. Uh, we got a chat. I haven't been paying attention. The moon was for you. You're, you're giving a world joke. Oh. <laughs> the blazing saddle. <laughs> what in the wide world of sports? How's the arena coming along? Dude, I just found the. Uh, oh, hey, it did beep. Did you hear it? Huh? It beeped. That tells me what song's coming on. There he is. Oh, that's cool. All right, good deal. Hi, Mary Murray. Hey, buddy. Sorry, it like gave me a little weird thing about. Uh, Reese, how you doing, buddy? Losing my connection, but yeah. Uh -oh. Blazing Saddles is a great movie. And Knuckle Duster has all the miniatures for it in 28. I have a mounted and dismounted Mongo figure. He's on the uh, the cow. Or the steer. Oh, there's Reese. I was like, where's Reese? I don't see Reese. There he is. I haven't been paying attention to that. Sorry. So I just got to go get Blazing Saddles. Oh. But I did find this. It was buried. Big Murray. You'll be more hey. interested. Hang on. That's the indoor screen. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. That's there you go. That's super useful for miniature stuff, like in all different kinds of stuff, both for making like chain link fences and whatnot. Yeah. And for, I've seen a lot of people make small scale aircraft out of that where you just need like a plane. 
Yeah. And they cut it and used the little cruciforms as real small aircraft. So, oh, man. Largely before the commonplace at, you know, advent of resin 3D printing, but even so. Now, when I play these little magazine games or whatever, and I finish one, I'm not going to want it, so I can give it to you guys. You really might, man. Huh? You really might want to play them again. Why? Because you can sometimes get a different result. Like you realize you, you goofed something up and you should have done something different. And then you want to try doing it that way. Well, if I play and succeed at it, you know, it's just like beating a game. You give the game away after you beat it. Maybe. So, uh, Nord, yeah. you should post that up in uh, the Nacho Discord, buddy. I would be interested in seeing those. I'm just, uh, Jeff, what kind of food do you get, man? Um, I made it's uh, I guess oh man, Icky Crickles here, chicken Alfredo, I guess, but it's Walmart's brand, it's pretty good actually. I cannot pronounce that name in the chat. Iggy, what? Iggy, you guys call Iggy it Crickle. Oh, Iggy, okay. So, oh man, but, yeah, the evening starts getting on, you can tell my nose is starting to get all no, uh, Ig, I haven't even got into the the starter kit two yet i think I, I i'm i'm comfortable now with starter kit one the infantry and special weapons so i think i'm going to go ahead and move after this scenario i'm going to move to the guns guns can't be that hard I, but tanks i listened to todd playing with the tanks and that was really he was having a tough time with that yes you had it right Iggy crystal All right. We are painting the Red Baron, gentlemen. Little man Fred himself. The Red Baron. Huh? Is he going to play Snoopy? Maybe. He'll certainly fight a bunch of Spods and Newports. <laughs> Just don't move the tanks and they're nothing but guns. <laughs> the Raging Void. Kings of War. So, how many starter kit boxes do you have that still aren't painted yet? Oh, Lord. Well, you just asked for a number, not for the name wall, so we might not be here till tomorrow. Five? Bullshit. I don't think he can hear us. Brian... Ryan. Someone must be in the room with him. Oh, yeah, that's true. It might be getting close to bedtime. Um, I mean, he just got... What's the truly mind-boggling thing is that he keeps doing these damn unboxings for him. Um, the guy's got to have a bigger unpainted but assembled you know, catalog than I do. Uh, no, John, they're, they're about six mil. I wanted to make them big enough to be able to you know see and enjoy but also um they're 3d printed so they're very light so i should be able to use the same magnets i use with my really small planes on them um to be honest with you it was kind of an experiment with the 3d printer to see if it would you know work at this scale and it did so now i just kind of have i think i have I have one Fokker DR1, so the triplane. I've got um, then two each of Albatross D3s, two Spod 13s, 
two Newport 28s and two Halberstadt D2s. Um, so there's enough to have a fun little little pickup game. Um, Reese has been working on converting his pretty simple World War One air combat rules that he likes to World War One. The issue is the conversion, like the stat, the stat, you know, line generation algorithms are all tuned for World War Two. So basically, everything is, you know, speed one, maneuverability one, um, stuff like that. So we're having to work on adjusting those or else it just makes for a really boring game just because everything kind of tops out at a far lower speed. But, yeah. It is. And it my the issue that I'm running into is I want to paint them up all cool, you know, because these flying circuses and, you know, everything else, there wasn't a unified paint scheme necessarily. Um, and so I'm trying to, like, figure out, okay, well, what should I paint these guys? And it's it's running into the same issue as like painting, you know, partisans or irregulars or something like that. And that you can't batch paint nearly as well. Um, I mean, I'm sure I can, I get the feeling that later in the war as they, you know, progressed, um, there is a whole lot more uniformity to stuff, but that's not quite as, it's not quite as fun. It's not quite as visually appealing on the table. So I don't know how much of that I'll do. But, yeah, I, I got nice. One. That is awesome. I will 100% do that. Um, hell, I might, depending on if I can fit him in, I might put him into, I might put a couple of sets of them and put him into my War of the Roses stuff. He'll be a little, the miniature will be a little early for that, but whatever, who cares? Um, it'll still look hilarious. I have a, I got a really, really old Tyrion Lannister figure from before, you know, the, the Game of Thrones TV show is out. So it's actually, it's a, it's a licensed Song of Ice and Fire miniature. Oh. And he is very well done in War of the Roses, you know, attire and everything, which he should be because that's how George R. R. Martin described most of A Song of Ice and Fire. But I got him into one of my group command bases for 28 millimeter Hail Caesar. And I was real happy about that. Oh. Hey, Ashley. Ashley's here. Ashley. I don't know, Iggy. Uh, I probably need to flip them all, that's all. I'm about to say, probably just a As far as I know, Jeff gave up, you know, reading and everything and writing in uh, reverse. But you never do know. He's an interesting fella. Is that better? I can't read it anyways, man. You're on my phone screen. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Um, I actually, I, I do it. Look, Ashley, I'm using Restream. Oh. Anyways, you guys can hear me, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, back to my starters. <laughs> I got seven. Kings of War. You have way more than seven starter kits. Uh, just Kings of Wars, I have seven. Yeah, there you go. That's more like yeah. it. So That is insanity. Go fall. Oh, shit. You know, that new game came out, uh, what, Clash of Steel? Yep. Right? Okay. Greg and Ashley are already getting that thing put together, man. Yeah, guess what? You do not have fucking Clash of Steel. Are you kidding me? Does this count? This is the old Clash of Steel. What's the difference? Oh, yeah, you are. That is the old one. The new yeah. one, that's like early early cold war I, I thought i don't know yeah because it's the same company same thing same title it's just this has infantry in it i guess i don't know i thought clash of steel was later on i don't know 
Yeah. That's Kursk, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. No, Kursk. Uh, to be honest with you, I thought that was the thing that maybe that's Gale Force Nine that I'm thinking of that was putting out something that was. Um, yeah, this is our group. Yeah. Oh, Berlin. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that is Berlin. Yes, it is. It's when they had the fight outside of Berlin. But I wonder why they did make the Clash of Steel again or whatever. I mean, or is it literally that's just a Gale Force Nine thing for get Clash of Steel? And this is the I'm gonna say I thought Clash of Steel was Gale Force Nine, not necessarily Battlefront. But yeah. Okay. Interesting. I was just curious about that. I was like, what? What? But uh, anyways, so what's up? Speaking of Fallout, it's on um, oh. Prime now. I got to watch it tonight. I'm on episode three, dude. I love it. I love it. Holy smokes. What? You're already on episode three. What are you talking about starting it? Didn't it come out like early yesterday? Yeah. It did. Dang, buddy. Get so, after it, homie. Well, I come home, I have lunch, and I watch an episode of it. So, so you know, my life has kind of been in, it's been into this room or whatever you want. <laughs> so, oh, look at that. Oh, that's all good. I'm not going to lie to you. I eat. Um, Watched like five or six episodes of Shogun. Shogun freaks it off. Oh, I gotta watch. Which was one. which I I enjoyed quite quite a bit, but at the same time, it's not exactly something that I can watch, and you know, paint or do something else during. So it it was giving me trouble because yeah. normally while I'm hobbying, I'm either talking with you guys or I'm just I got something on. TV just for noise, like whether it's Seinfeld or something else. Um, and yeah, I tried doing Shogun, and I was like, I can't, I can't do it. I gotta read, I gotta read the the subtitles in the screen, dog. You know. Really? But it is quite good. It is quite yeah. good. I like. You saw it. the you saw the new episode last just what Tuesday? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's great. no. It's been probably a week and a half or two weeks since I watched an episode. Ah, oh, dude. All right. Well, here's, here's your spoiler. You ready? I mean, I, I say that, but I've also read the book. I've seen the 83 miniseries more yeah. times than I can count. Like, Wasn't that Richard Chamberlain? Yep. Yeah, it was Richard Chamberlain. That's right. So, wow. It was. It was Richard Chamberlain, and then Toshiro Mifune was Toronaga. Toronaga. Which was pretty cool. And we sunk the Toronaga in the Solomons. Yep. Oh, are Naval you celebrating Festivus, February? What? Are you celebrating Festivus? I celebrate Festivus every year. So what Nordic, Nordic, Nordic's asking. Yeah, I know what I do. I celebrate Festivus every year. Um, I've worked the last several Festivuses, which is entertaining. So it means I have to take the poll to work. But, uh, yeah, we have the, the feats of strength and the airings, airing of grievances, everything, buddy. You know. <laughs> you finished what? versus Americans? You played the game versus versus Americans, or you just finished the tanks? You know, talking about Clash of Steel again? Yeah, she's, I just saw that on there. I was curious. I think she was on live today. Oh, dang, there you go. It's not even yeah, Sunday. They- yeah, how the hell do you all stream when I'm in the middle of working? I don't know. Don't ask me. I, I'm usually working, so of course today was a little different. But yeah. Finished building. Okay, you haven't played the game yet. Okay. So, uh, well, yeah. Because actually, that's the one that's got like, again, really early. It's almost like you know, 1946, 1947 stuff, right? Like, because you've got big post-war, you know, Russian and German and American and British tanks. 
I thought, I don't, I'm not sure. I might be completely out of it, but I thought that was the case. Yeah. There they are. See them? See their prime? That's my uh, Arabian, my uh, Muslim. So. Baby, she's got I know. That's a special one. I know. Anyways, but no, uh, it's just as basically was just to uh, get on here and see it, work this restreaming out, try to get used to it and stuff. So uh, I didn't really let everyone, anyone know about that I was doing this like I usually do at the last moment. Just got on here and stuff because McMurray, he always cries about, you know, that we need to get on here more often. And so, well, um, I mean, I don't know if you noticed this, but your viewers also mentioned. Do we have it on here? <laughs> yeah, it's true. You can blame me as much as you want to, but your viewers think the same thing. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, you want to see the arena. It's still the same as the last time from last night. <laughs> I haven't got too much. We're going to have, um, we're gonna have Camp Sawyer on as soon as I get a reply from him. Uh, we're planning on getting SPQR on. And we're going to play some more GCACW. We're probably going to do some more. We're probably... I don't know, Tom and I are kind of doing squad leader off the chart. So until I, well, I guess till we're both comfortable with it. So, but we have a a ton of squad leader. We, I know, but I know, but man, we have not done anything live. I mean, Chris is the only one that's been doing his thing on Wednesdays and we haven't done anything in what, three weeks now? Did we do something three weeks ago or is that just you and Todd? No. uh, Remember we did, um, Okay. I actually I think what, we what? I'm sorry, I didn't hear a word you had to say because I was getting my butt chewed out. <laughs> You're good. I didn't hear well, I don't know what Jeff Jeff was trying to figure out when the last time we went live was. Oh, so we oh. chatted with Mutt. We were chatting with Mutt eleven days ago. Yeah. And oh no, the last stream I did was with Nanguay on his channel. That was a month ago. Yeah. Was it too long ago? Was it since I did what? We did the mutt and gang chatting eleven days ago. That's right. We did a little paint and chat. That was quite fun. I had a good time doing that. I'm actually. This is the first time I've sat down and painted something. And oh wow! You're painting, huh? Wow! Like, good chunk of time. Yeah, give me a hot second, and I'll show you guys what I've been working on. Again, it's yeah, it's just the, these World War One planes. It's nothing. The Grindale thing they did was a month ago. Yeah, that Grimdale could have been better. I, I didn't do a good job on that one. I was like, Why do you say that? So, well, I, I, the first uh, two turns, I made it too long. You guys have well, long. You know, I will say this about the painting thing with streaming. That is definitely easier to get a, do a stream and just chit-chat while you're painting. But playing a hex encounter game and just chit-chatting doesn't work. Yeah. Because then you stop playing. Yeah, I'm about to say, I noticed that when we were trying to do that with Todd, with um, even as early as when we were playing like those small scenarios out of day and days and stuff, that was brutal trying to chat and talk. And those were pretty simple, pretty small scenarios in SCS. Right. Yeah. Um, it was fun, but it was tough sometimes to keep it all up and, and, and not get caught up like you're talking about. Well, that that grim though, it's gonna go everywhere now. All sorts of genres. What? So you guys went through a portal. I'm not even calling it a Stargate anymore. I'm calling it a portal so everyone could just chill. It's not Stargate. <laughs> is the Stargate IP even at like is that even active anymore? Like does anybody get a give a shit if you call it a Stargate? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I would call it a portal. I should be right back. Okay. Um, I'm the same uh, way. Okay, so we went through this portal. Where's it taking us to? I don't know. Don't know yet. He hasn't written the story that far yet. I know, but I'm not telling you. No way. Oh. So what, that would, you know. So I'm learning not to tell you guys everything. Just you know. Yeah, Jeff. So it's not that he doesn't know. He hasn't written the story. He's just going to be a goob. <laughs> 
Whatever. It's my game. What? It's my game. You guys just have to play it. You come out to a place where there's a a, a little corporal and a big dinosaur. Psycho chick. Oh, the chickens, yeah. <laughs> so, so, oh, yeah, I almost forgot all about that game. I kind of thought about it. But, yeah. well, you're the only one left alive, right? Uh, no. <laughs> no, because we didn't kill, well, we killed Keegan because he shot at Greg. Um, <laughs> but, it was not objective, though. <laughs> Well, it's I fine, but Greg was my buddy, so. Yeah. Well, Greg did it. The Greg did it. The why he he went the smart route because I told him their objective was to get whatever it was that whoever had any way possible. So it was open. He decided to go the violent way. Greg decided to go the peaceful way. Yeah, Greg like asked about it. It was a yeah, sure, that's awesome. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Keegan just shot Greg, and then all of his guys died in the next turn. Oh, or yeah. two. You might have got two turns out of some of them, but yeah. Yeah. Right. 100 messages in the restream chat. Yay, Brian! Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wonder what, what you win. That? It just popped up at the top of the chat window. Oh. Oh, God. Good. Nord's getting after it. Um, <clears throat> you never know, Nord. Um, it's With Brian, it's always a, a, a bit of a crapshoot sometimes in terms of what. It's just randomly going to happen to us and where we're going to wind up. But it's always entertaining. That's for sure. Carnage there sits a bunny. <laughs> Dude, I want that. I love that bunny, man. Uh, you, you're having fits with it. I don't know why. <laughs> Me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's because you kept like semi describing it as an enemy and then you wouldn't let me kill it. And that was driving me up the damn wall. <laughs> Sorry. No, he pushes the story along, man. So anyway, but, uh, that little fangs and thou shalt not count to four. No, you, thou shalt kill bunny rabbits. Now, what I should have done, and I and I, I regret, the one regret of it is when you guys lit that cactus on fire. I should have had that cactus have like a plus one, plus two when it hit somebody because it was on fire. I think the cactus should have killed them all. So yeah. So, but I tell, luckily you guys have another way out there because he was burning that bridge down. <laughs> I think they were playing like scrubs and you just let them survive. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> but, uh, and then you got all Jeffrey. Bad. Huh? Jeff's always talking smack and then he won't even jump in on a miniatures game when Brian or I or somebody else puts one on. That's a no. That's crap. Y'all have not put one really on that I can play in. Me, Tim, you better run. I, I we, did the. Uh, I, did put, I played in a couple of Zombicide. I don't want to hear that. Yeah, I played in some Zombicide, man. So that's really, a war you know, game with miniatures really, instead of counters. You know, it was a miniature game that I since what's his face did when I played that FFOL. That doesn't yeah. count. You know that. Well, I know it doesn't count now, but uh, you all were already packed for Brian's game, so. That's fair. That's fair. I'll put on some more miniatures games and we'll have you jump on in. Yeah, you did. I, I enjoyed the game you had there with the World War II or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, I invited oh. Jeffy to play in that. Nah, the cool. troll was kind of a decoy there, man. Just wanted to think about it. Um, yeah. We'll find out some more uh, ACW stuff, Jeffy. Don't worry. Oh, I'll bust out some ACW games for you, Jeffy. You, you, you just need you to bust out ACW games. He just wants you to bust out one particular ACW game. Yeah, I'm working on it. Yes, I am. Getting closer to, by the way. So, but well, yeah, I except you're not Jeff. thinking your 15s. So I, I, I agree with Jeff, man. It seems like this past month or two, we just there's just crap going on. So too much has been happening. Yeah. Well, well, the rest of us all have stuff going on. You've just been sitting at home doing nothing. Like, oh, yeah, that's oh. more easy. Yeah, so. What came out of the blinds? Uh, there were those little blue demons that they were in. Those guys encountered before. Yeah, yeah, the ones we ran into in Grimdale. Yeah, that's right. So, 
<laughs> See, you don't like that. I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to play, if I'm going to play like a World War II game, I don't want any freaking sci-fi shit in it. Now you want the historical game, I get it. So, I'm going to play yeah. sci-fi, I'm going to make it straight sci-fi. Yeah. Like Rory's got World War II and ACW just straight historical for you, buddy. Sci-fi I want to play, that I really want to play, I mean, I'm not head over heels going to play, but that I would like to play would be the Aliens one. What about Plum Island Horror? That's kind of sci-fi. Oh, read the order message right there. That's not a miniature game. Yeah, Plum Island. That's a definitely. Uh, Richardson's division at the Sunken Road at Antietam. Living in the right Sunken Road. Seems like ever had a Sunken Road, a railroad cut, and everything else. And, a sunken Road. <laughs> Star what? City Battles. Oh, bro, Sneaky Crystal, what the hell? What's he's one of those guys who wakes up in the morning and goes, you know what I don't want to do today? Have fun playing miniatures. Dude, Jeff, you need to play a sci-fi game that, uh, that I have in mind. You've got the alien one now, don't you? Oh, yeah, I still got to do it. Dude, I totally forgot all about that. <laughs> I know Ashley and Greg tried to get me to play it, but their schedule and my schedule just don't mix. <laughs> Yeah, it's because every day that they're gaming, you're playing golf. Yeah, this is golf season for you too, man. Yeah. John played Fistful Live last night, huh? And we got so lucky with our wound shots and rolled nine to ten. It's too much. I mean, an hour and a half is a pretty good pretty good time, John. That's not bad at all, bud. Four against uh, four shootout. There you go. So, that'll okay. happen, buddy. It's not... It's not a. It's just one of the one of the joys of playing with dice, right? Is that sometimes you you roll well and stuff ends quickly, and sometimes you don't. It takes a little longer. Nothing wrong with that. Um, any of you guys who watched Todd and I play Chain of Command, my first game I ever played in Chain of Command, we was playing locally here with my buddy Aaron, good dude. Play Chain of Command with him all the time, but. The first game we played, man, we rolled so many sixes for our command dice. And what that does is that'll, you know, give you an extra phase or, you know, restart the turn and then give you an extra phase or whatever else. And we thought it was just a common occurrence. And then we played a couple more times. It's like, oh, okay, it's not. Oh. But, uh, yeah. Who's going to win the Masters? Hexy. Probably Hexy, I think. Um, or was there a kind of, there's a comment there. Scotty Scheffler. Who? Scotty Scheffler. Nope. <clears throat> Bryson D. Scheffler shot a seven under today in the opening round. Nice, John. They're going to have a great time. They really are. It's a pretty good, it's a really good learner game, um, especially if you divide it up so everybody's got, you know, two, maybe three miniatures. It can go pretty quick, too. Yeah. Get after it, John. Hey, oh. I was like, Stax, you're able to text my picture to the YouTube thing, huh? Yeah, I had to turn my YouTube on to answer that. That's starting to hurt. Sure. I have no choice, man. I already dumped in the money for the whole year. <laughs> dumped in the money for the what? I, I bought the whole year subscription with this restream. Oh, well, geez. it's not bad. I'm just saying the only thing, that, like I say, the only thing I don't like is I can't text chat. That's it. That's no big deal. Yeah. Bummer. Because I, I have the chat open, and then on the bottom it says type a message. You guys right. don't have that. Mine does not, but that's okay. I'm also again, I'm on my phone, so I'm not expecting too much out of this. Ashley, Greg, if you're still on there, explain, because that really sucks, man. What happened? <laughs> well, no, about the chat thing. Why the guest can't oh. chat? So instead, you have to go to the YouTube channel, and they go in there and chat that way. Uh, John, buddy, I know how that goes, trying to spread the hobby. It's good times. Dude, if you enjoy the game, it'll be contagious just that alone. So, yep. Yeah, I mean, I got these guys involved in this full lead, man. He did. He did a great job. <laughs> so, 
Is it the, the well, of course, obviously I started my my very first five games were obviously Warhammer Seventh Edition, whatever. And dude, that just I could not really, huh? Really, your first games were yeah, forty k Warhammer Seventh Edition. I had the orcs and a guy named Richard Wheeling who has his own YouTube channel here. He used to live here, and they moved to Colorado Springs. I went to his house, and he was teaching me how to play it, and it was fun because I like the orcs and because I like scratch building, so of course orcs. But uh, dude, the numbers there's just so many numbers. <laughs> yeah, that- Ubertown made a really entertaining video about that. Uh, yeah. His was geared towards 40k, but even so, it was quite. Uh, it was eye opening to see other people have the same. Yeah, here you attack and you hit, and yet you still have to roll to see if you, you know, did anything. And then it gets there, and then you got to add in all this other psych stuff, whatever. Yep. It's just... <laughs> John, don't forget the discount code. That's always a good thing. That way, that'll save them some money, even if they want to do, you know, the the download, print it out themselves, stuff like that. That'll help out. Say it again, Mary. Hey, what is it? Uh, R. W. McMurray twenty two twenty three. Yeah. So the word or the letter R, the letter W, M U R R A Y, just like you see down on my my little label there. Uh, there you go. Brian's got it. Cannot trade Panther units. Nanguaya. 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 Like why? GW is really ridiculously terrible to their fans. We were just talking about that because there's a bunch of guys I used to play with locally here who just decided they wanted to get back into GW. Yeah. And apparently Games Workshop just removed a bunch of models from their like playable lines and they were all real confused as to how, well, they, there's no way they're just going to make them not playable anymore. It's like, I mean, they've done it in the past, like a few times there's no reason to think they won't do it again yeah. um but all right let's see here let's see if i can get my well now when you guys introduced me to fistful of lead that was the second game i learned and uh, i compare everything to it now i'm like mm. i'm trying to get myself to learn other game systems and i keep going back to fistful of lead. <laughs> this really is Really similar to oh well, look at that. Uh, up the wrong camera. Oh, it's ugly. It's terrible. Here, I can blow you up. No, that's fine. Oh, you're gonna show us something, right? Yeah. Sure. So these are some of the figures. Oh, you got it on your cell phone. Oh, there you go. So there's again just base painted, but mm. Red Baron's DR1. I figure since Nangwai is on here, we'll show the World War One stuff. <laughs> These are yep, the albatrosses. So there's two of those, and I'm trying to paint them up all you know different and stuff. So I've got one that's got some red wings and a red tail. And you figure out what I'm putting on this guy. Uh, here are the halberstadts. I haven't again put anything on this guy, but this guy's got yellow fuselage. So that's a fun one. Uh, moving on over. The yellow knights, whatever. Oh, can't see it. Uh, yeah, so those are the artillerists stay on track stay on track yep uh <laughs> newport 28 again with the yellow wings on it i need to figure out what i'm going to put on this guy i'll probably move into like grays and blues next and those with the newport <laughs> or the spods one with the yellow tail on it where's the propellers with the yellow front um i printed the models that didn't have propellers on the front because i don't want them breaking off because I'd rather have models that look like the propellers are just spinning really fast than that look like they have the two bottom or, you know, the one top propeller. But then, yes, Brian, these guys are 15 millimeter French and Indian War uh, French artillerists to go along with these guys. Who are my 15 millimeter infantry? Let's see if it'll flip. There you go. For my 15 millimeter infantry for Axe Annex's challenge. Well, you're way ahead of me. Yes, there's like, uh, I think, let's see here, that would be 
68. Is that a fully led horse? Right there? Yeah. Yeah. It's War of the Roses. Um, I think my War of the Roses guys are downstairs right now because I based them all up. But yeah. That can be used for a weapon. Wow. Really? There's one of them. There's, the, there's one of them. It was a spare. But yeah, so those are my guys for Axe Annex's challenge. Again, there's two units each with one with white or red facings and one with blue facings. Or two with blue facings, two with red facings. So unit is these six bases. There's another one and then there's two in the back that again have the blue facings on them that you can see. And those are all our, like I said, those are all artillery crew. So, yeah, Ooh, that's really what those are. And then I've got these French militia to paint up next. There's another 60 of these guys on sticks. Yeah, um, you know what? Taking the 15s from Old Glory and then putting them next to the, like the Flames of War. Dude, Flames of War is like 10 minutes. Um, it depends on which ones they are. Some they scale really well, some they don't. Um, yeah, because I put it next to my PAVN, and I'm like, holy crap, the Old Glories are like So, that. yeah, oh, so you have the Old Glory Vietnam? No, I got the Old, the old Glory, just the Old Glory Managers. Like the, I put up the Muslims next to those uh, PAVNs, and they're just like giant. Oh, yeah, so it depends on which Old Glory line you're looking at, right? Because some of them... Most of them are lines that they've that they've purchased from other manufacturers, right? So when a small shop goes out of business, and they've got you know two lines of figures, Old Glory will pick them up and, and oh. run with it, so the miniatures don't go out of production. So some of the lines are bigger than others. Like you'll notice the World War One line is they're big, they're damn near twenty millimeter, um, but. My uh, old glory World War II guys match Battlefront World War II stuff quite well. So these are British airborne jeeps. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Those are British airborne jeeps. Those are pretty cool. For a uh, yeah, for a Arnhem list that I was doing. We were talking about that yesterday on Chris's show. How you could build a large amount of uh, like a huge 15 millimeter um, collection for not a lot of money, especially that discount. But yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's what like those 10 millimeter, those are 10 millimeter uh, Crusader. Well, they're uh, Saracens, but those are 10 millimeter Saracens, some Saracen, you know, hand or foot, troops, Saracen archers. And then back there, you've got some 15 mil, uh, <clears throat> like yeah. medievals as well. But yeah. Or I'm sorry. Those are 10 mil as well. Those are 10 mil, uh, uh, Saracen cavalry. Huh. My bad. There's some Saracen horse archers. And Guaya, I, I, I've seen people mention it, but I don't know if anybody's done any, I don't know if I've seen any footage, but if I find... All right, Brian, freak me back down, my dude. Thanks, sir. Somebody just bought, somebody just bought this from me. So, the original Beyond Balor from ASL. And I have the new one. But there's a lot of people that collect these old ones, so... And I sold a pretty good price on this thing, too. So Dang, Nagoya, these are just the, the World War II ones, the, or the World War I ones. The World War II ones are a little bit smaller. They're over on the side. We'll look at those a different day. Appreciate it. Cool. Let's get some. Fire. Sorry, guys. I just figured out how to highlight the comments on the screen. All you do is just click on it. <laughs> highlight what? They put the chat on the screen like that. Oh. Um, you just click it. Sorry. Okay. Sorry for what? I'm just learning, man. I'm trying to figure it out. So, and this will work out because, you know, I'm 
like I said, I don't, I'm not, I don't do the live feed that much. So I don't have like a Thursday night television show or whatever. You know. Right now you don't do live feeds that much. It's all about to change, baby. Whatever. Um, Brian's about to make it big, but guys. Nah, dude, Todd, Todd made it big. Didn't he just bought, he bought what, three grand, 3000 Or is he close oh, to Oh, dude. Grand? Is it did did Toddy hit three thousand yet, Jeff? No, he's not there yet. He's got a ways to go. Like he's got to be getting close. Oh, he's got, oh he's gaining on it. Yeah, definitely gaining on it. Am I? Oh, here you go. What should we What should we say? Respond to that right there, guys. What should we do? Look, I'm not gonna lie to you. If it's if it's at the right time, I, I have no issues with playing Zombicide. We'll do that. Oh, yeah. It's we going to be know. tough for Jeffy on the weekends, though. He's got golf season opening up. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I play golf usually. Well, right now we're not playing until 11 o'clock because it's still a little chilly in the morning. But I think golf over Zombicide is my good, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, huh? You take golf over Zombicide? Well, yeah. If I had a chance to go on the course, I'd, I'd go golf. Yeah. Yeah. So, Nanguea, are you saying you would like to play Zombicide? We get you involved, dude. It's easy. And it's real easy to play over the over the internet or whatever. It is pretty darn it's simple to play virtually, which is super nice. Have you tested your camera configuration to be able to do this? To do what? Oh, yeah. You used your switchboard or whatever with Restream? Well, because you rearranged your room. Oh. I gotta test that out. Well, now I got now I have something to do over this weekend. Golfers on the course, <laughs> dude. That's not a bad idea. There you oh, go, John. Right. Wants to play. Chucky. Hey, Charles is here. Hey, Charles. Charles, you're late, dude. You are really late, man. Well, if you gave any advance warning whatsoever, I you would have been here early. Don't come at Charles because you were not prepared. Oh, but no one wants to play Zombicide there, dude. Charles Latour is a saint. Uh, Saturday or Sunday. Great you Latour con one or two. I'm not shy to invite any of you chatters into a game, man. Just don't go don't go crazy, man. <laughs> what was that guy's name when we did the first Seth, that guy? When we did the first twenty four hour thing. You sound well, familiar. Channel. And he like went nuts telling Wapple how to do oils, and it's one of those. All right, buddy, like take a chill pill, relax. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Oh. Yeah, man. <laughs> anyway. well, so of all the people to tell how to do stuff, he's probably not the one. Yeah, you don't tell Wapple. Then again, he handled it better than I handled it, but yeah. I know, Charles. I'm on the restream, and I'll figure out how to do the scheduling thing. That's um, what's up, Charles. Thank you. Keep telling him that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Too late. I'm already bad shit. That's very re reasonable, Nord. Can't blame you. Makes life more fun. But, uh, yeah, uh, when we do the lives on the side, I always do custom missions because I personally have been doing the the journey through all the games. Rule book mission. Yeah. yeah, ZGA Tour. I like this. Make fun of golf at every opportunity possible. I am all in. Let's do this. Oh, wow. How would you do that? <laughs> A ZGA Tour? Yeah. I don't know, but I'll play the zombies. Yeah. Well, that's the other thing I would like because there's zombie pours in it. You know, you got your survivors and you got your zombie pours. So when a survivor dies, you could turn them into a zombie pour and have them actually go after your fellow players, your fellow whatever. And so, and you're actually stronger too. Instead of, you, instead of a human having three wounds, if you're a zombie pour, you end up with five wounds. And, and you have your own special ability and you go chase them down. It's pretty cool. I take it as so. Anyways, so. oh Charles, did you know they're doing an eighty-five percent off right now at Miniature Market? On some stuff. 
Um, yeah, it's the board. Yeah, the board games only. So, yeah, it wasn't really that much there, to be honest. Jeffy, I almost bought the Long Road again. The Long Road? Yeah. Well, I mean, I did. It's a lot of game. I know that. It is a lot of game. Yeah. I'm not sure it's really my type of game. Oh, daughter made some good pasta here with a lot of spinach in it. What? Brian is voluntarily eating spinach? Spinach, pasta, and uh, beef, uh, sausage, whatever. Yeah. It's not bad. It's beef not bad. is wonderful. Spinach, man, always gets in my teeth, man. And then when I smile, it looks like I'm freaking on meth or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll happen. Um, okay, so, hey, Murray, what are you doing this weekend? Working. You suck. Well, All I'm right. sorry, buddy. What about next weekend? Come on. Because now he got me all going to hold a host a zombie side game. Let's do it. I'll play zombie side with you. Yeah, Just make sure there's a car for me to drive around. Yeah, there's cars and all that. I can do that. So, not a problem. <clears throat> so, and then uh, we'll get Jeff to play too. Do what? We're going to play a zombie side. Not this Saturday, probably next Saturday. And you're going to play too, buddy. It's uh, great catching you guys tonight. Got to go. I'm subbing tomorrow. Subbing who? Who are you subbing? John? He's subbing for school for a school, right? Oh, I thought he's... <laughs> so, okay. So, John, pay attention. Uh, I don't know if he already left or not, but not this Saturday, next Saturday. Maybe I'll invite you in. Maybe I'll invite you in. Hey, I should charge oh, you. I like that idea, Nord. I like that. And Ray gets the car and I get the tank. They actually have a tank for it. Uh, custom I do, Nanguaya. I do, actually. So. Oh, so what Nanguaya is there? I just printed this on the back side of the paper. God. Second grade, man. John, you'd be perfectly Ooh. equipped. To Ooh. deal with us playing Zombicide. Yes. If you're something for a second grade class. Yeah, you could discipline McMurray, that's for sure. Good deal. <laughs> Keep someone lying and stuff. Uh, have that rule stick. What that? <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, <laughs> Bloody Knuckles, courtesy of that thing. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, I'll do that. So, I'll figure out what mission will be custom mission. So, she's still here in the background. Yeah. We oh, I like Violent Schmidus tuning in from Germany. Dang. What are they, seven hours ahead of us or eight hours? I don't know. What time is it over there, Violent Schmida? Schmied. Right? Schmida. Schmida. Uh huh. I thought it'd be Schmied. No. Nope. Why Schmida? Because there's an E on the end of it. So that make it Schmied. In German, the vowel E oh, makes the E uh, sound, and the vowel I makes the E sound. Three forty-nine a.m. What the heck? Yeah, buddy, it's a little early, my dude. Going erasers. Wow. I had a teacher did that when we were talking. Elementary school in. He rubbed that eraser on that chalk dustman and toss it. He's having his coffee and chit chat before he goes to work. Oh, That's there you crazy. go. Yeah. What's a here? Here you go. With it. What's a normal breakfast over there for you? Oh, you know, sauerkraut and sauerkraut no, and then potatoes. Sauerkraut. <laughs> they eat that shit for every meal. I had it, buddy. One time, right? So I used to work at a scout camp, right? And we had, we ought to have an international exchange thing going where a guy from Scotland came over and worked with us. And he was real cool. And I worked with this dickhead who legitimately asked this guy, like, 
we managed to convince him that everything in Scotland is like, you know, Braveheart. Yes. So we like got this guy into a tent, put Braveheart on, and was like, yeah, man, this is what Scotland's like. But obviously, like, this is older, right? Mm-hmm. This yeah. dude thought they were all running around wearing bagpipe or wearing kilts all the time. We convinced him that, like, modern music, they set it to bagpipes. So, like, you have Lady Gaga, but with bagpipes instead of, like, you know, Lady Gaga. modern shit. And this idiot believed us. He was all about it. Blew my mind. Milan's Vobisto. Fred, Jan, Germany, Keith. Jeffrey, Germany. Oh, my gosh. All right, we got to go, guys. Walk about showing up. Yeah, I'm a vet. Uh, oh. Ladies and Jeff. Oh, what? <laughs> fighting words right there. <laughs> Awfully bold from the guy who lives in America's hat. Oh, wow, well, look. Looks- I highlight on his... Uh, his a uh, chat thing on restream it says you can put user timeout. <laughs> oh, perfect. There you go. <laughs> I won't do that. <laughs> That's funny. Chris, at what point are you guys going to start calling Harry and Meghan Markle the like government in exile or something? So I still say if you all played your cards right, you could be the 51st state. But you probably have to do something cool, like, you know, uh, take back the British Isles or something in order to, you know, show us that you're serious about stuff. Good night, John. Good luck with the uh, second graders tomorrow. Yep. See you, buddy. Hopefully we've prepared you well. That would be one I'd like to get involved in the game with uh, Chris Long. Yeah, man, but you guys would have to play with boats and shit. Oh, oh crap. Forget that. <laughs> These guys are such chicken shits, Chris. You hear that? Boats suck. I'm going to move my boat. Uh... <laughs> On the bright side, it... it, it lifts my heart to know that you're not going to play Armada. That's good. Who, me? Yeah, it's got boats in it. I'm going to play Armada. Hey, why? You're making fun of boats Chris left, Long right? Long Long playing on Man Pick Games. I bet he has Armada. Who? Chris Long. I bet he has Armada. Oh, I sold that, too. Oh, you did? Yep. Yeah, somebody bought it in one of them tri-packs I created. Oh, oh. dang. Okay. For Chris He's talking about Mantic Games Armada, though, not SPI Armada. Yeah. Yeah, I know he's talking about. I got the SPI Armada. What? It's the magazine one, man. Yeah, it could, yeah, they made a magazine version of it. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. I asked if you want to play, and you said you don't play that stuff. Me? Yeah. What are you talking about? I don't know, man. I'm having a hard time breathing right now. Freaking nose. What scales your World War One Russian infantry, Chris? Oh, for Nam. A. Yeah, see, no fantasy windy boats there. He's a refined man of learned talents. Hey, now, come on, dude. And discerning taste. Who? Chris Long. He's just like one of us. Google gobble, we accept him. Four games are landed. Oh, nice. There you go. Hey, wait hey, I stand corrected, McMurray. What's up? He's just like one of us, A. A. Google gobble, eh? We accept him, eh? <laughs> That's probably true stuff. Uh, That's pretty. Uh, I agree. Uh, I agree, Scala. I agree. So, hey, you ready for this? 
What do clouds wear under their shorts? Oh, God. Look, what, Chris? Thunderpants. Thunder. Oh, shit. That's awesome. <laughs> that's fantastic. Hey, what do you call a spider with, with 10 eyes? Cool. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Dog, I'm a fan. These are great. Well, you guys heard. The, yeah, you guys saw what I, I put in chat there, man. I know all the alphabet, but I don't know why. Uh, Stella, I don't, well, okay, there are some people who are really fascinated and obsessed with it. It's just entertaining to make fun of people because they believe in the divine right of kings and stuff. <laughs> Chuck. Nah, Charles, <laughs> I'm happy you're here. You're bringing the sanity level back down to a manageable area here. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> enough is enough, That's man. cool. That is cool, 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 Chris. Dude. You yeah, see he, said, he said he printed out Napoleonic great coat Russian bodies and Cossack heads and then arms with Nagants for the Russo-Japanese War. That is cool, man. Oh, That's what we were talking about yesterday. I have made $757.80 in the last two weekends. What did you say? What? $757.80. From what? Selling Hustling games. golf. Oh. All right. Selling games. Now, I made a penny up on your off. Really? Oh, so no, I'm always terrible at being in the year. King Chuck, all hail Chuck. Okay, that was a lot. Of I didn't know with King Chuck. It's a Chuckster. Yeah, dude. We were Chuck basically almost. the best there is. Okay. Let's go ahead and ask the question. What do you guys all have on your bench? Chatters only. No oh, shit on my bench. I know you don't. You should probably clean that up, Jeff. I said I don't have shit on my bench. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, this right there, dude. That's your table, but yeah. So. I got that, and I got that. There, are you happy? Are you happy now? There you go. And that. And then I got this over here, but I'm also playing this, and I thought about playing a little bit of that. <laughs> yeah, Charles has a good proposition for you there. And how about that? <laughs> I gotta get my stream deck hooked up. That thing was so it was so nice out of that. <laughs> You'll be my daddy. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> Oh, Jeff, well, that excited. is I'm going to finish paying off Richard Champion what I owe him this month. You'll be excited, buddy. So I got, um, I think I'm going to swap my dining table out for one that is squared off. So then instead of having all the dead space on either side, I might actually be able to get two, uh, two, two mappers on there. Let's see. Hey, Nagoya, did you look it up on YouTube, Corbin? Hold on, I'm, I'm doing it right now, and then I'm going to give okay. you a post on it. Uh, oh, he wants this one. Okay. Uh, hold on. Bring this one up. Which Cobra? Hold on. Watch. This is what's really cool. Give me in big of me, brother. You will be blown up now. Watch. Jeff, you already has a video of it. Yep. Yep. That Cobra? Is that the one you're talking about, buddy? That was World War One. No, that's World War II. Oh. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's Patton's summer offensive. Yeah, it's the American breakout from uh, Normandy, from the Bokai. No, it's a 1914 one, right? There's a, there's a Cobra in 1914 by Decision Games? Maybe not Decision Games, but isn't that one? No, he said. I think he said Decision Games earlier. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, no. 
I don't even know what you would call a cobra in nineteen fourteen. No, World War Two is the one I am thinking of. Yeah, so it's probably the one Jeff had pulled up. Yeah, well, it could have been in a different. This was oh well, this is the old S and T magazine one. That's why. Okay. Let's see if um. I got you on Max Ziggy. Yeah, I don't know if there. Shoot, he might be right. There might be nobody has one up. Well, hold on. Are you guys talking about two different games? You just talking about a Same game? Thing. I showed him the S and T magazine one. He, he decision games probably redid it. Yeah, so that's my point. Is that have the rules changed and stuff? Or <laughs> boy, they're sure that one I posted. Boy, the people are bashing the hell out of it. Oh, out of Cobra? No, out of the highway to the right one. Yeah. Wow, nobody. That's weird. Oh, well. Man, there were some people jumping in some of the YouTube comments to talk about Highway of the Reich and not super duper great. Or not YouTube comments, the Facebook comments. I don't have I don't have the game, Chris. But is it decision games? Are we Cobra decision games? I think that's what he said. Yeah, I think so. Let's see if um. And then you got me all looking. Oh shit! There's a button. Well, Andrew, what did I send you? Long yeah, time. it says decision game. It was not Cobra. I had one that you sent me that was D Day, but it was Overlord. No, but I sent you a breakout one too. There's the TSR version, which actually I think I do have that one. You want me to maximize big it? Yeah, it's not this one, is it? Okay, hold on. There. That's TSR's version. Alternate names, Corbin 1944 plus one more designer, Joe Yost. Joe Yost. Yeah. Yost. He's the one who did that game. No, Chuck, the only hold on one I've ever had in my life was on a par four in a tournament. So that's not it. You got to pass the windmill, though, right? Mm. Yeah. Or by the Normandy campaign 2008. 2008? That's it. Oh, yeah, I was just okay right here. The, yeah, well, the original one. Here it is right here. Okay. Oh, oh, the big, yeah, the big green box, Cobra. No, yeah. That's a big game. So, uh, yeah, good dinner, man. It's this one right here. It's called a dinner. One. I do not have that one. Oh. Cobra, the Normandy campaign. Yeah, and I've looked at that. It's just it's still, uh, you actually get it on sale most time. It, uh, but that's a big, 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 big game. It's just one. He nine. said, bingo, 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 bingo. That's it. Do you have that game, Nguaya? I would assume so if he's asking for people to play it. See ya, Scala. Okay. Tell you what, my oldest daughter, she is, uh, when it comes to discipline, she's old school. <laughs> um, wow, I didn't know you had that one, Chris. When did you pick that up? Uh, sitting upstairs. So, all right. Well, probably not the best live feed we had, huh? Yeah, they want to hang out with us. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was, that was pretty productive, to be honest with you. This is the most painting I've gotten done in probably a week, if not uh, three. I'll figure out how to schedule it out so people know the next time. I just, yeah. So, uh, anywho, you guys want to call it or go for a couple more minutes? Go for a couple more minutes, big dog. I'm still working on this. Necromancer cloak color. Ten o'clock over at Jeffy's time. 
and I'm gonna go. Well, I'm gonna watch uh, Fallout the first episode before I crashed. You haven't watched it yet? No, I was gonna sit on the couch and do it, and then somebody oh. said, "I'm going live." Well, you did. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining. I, I, the show that will always be there. Yeah. So yeah, I enjoy it. Uh, it's really cool. Um, so, but it goes right along with the game big time. Um, I've never played the games. I don't know if that's gonna. Yeah. See, Nord still got six bases to put Static Grass on, so we have to hang on for a minute. Nord, what are you basing, buddy? Slash actually nerd nerd if you're still on here also what are you what are you designing? <clears throat> That's always cool as shit to hear. <clears throat> I just uh, I, I sent my Totaler Krieg and uh, Dicenso to Rich just uh, about two months ago. Uh, Becoming handy here. There you go. Oh, hold on. This one, sorry. Nice. You got him, Nord? There you go. Wait, we were talking about that yesterday. That must be somebody else. I don't remember yeah, who was asking us about that yesterday. Maybe Chris Long was asking us about that yesterday. Good to hear, Nord. Outstanding, buddy. Where do you get him at? Where do you get him at? What? Where do you get him at? Fortune Battle. Oh, all right. Oh, duh. All right. <laughs> um, I have no patience for minis. <laughs> you don't need a lot of patience to do minis. Uh, there's a lot of people who play without even paying them. So. And there's nothing wrong with that. Weird, but nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Um, you know, this is the month of April where you should be painting Romans. What? You should be painting Romans. I did not. I don't know if I painted a single Roman this April, buddy. Because it's April, man. No, it is. Yeah. Got them for a normal night. Oh, man, chat's just blowing up now. Oh. All right. Like, oh, Charles, you got all the time in the world with the patience to read rules. I've seen the number of hex encounter games you get up on a table, my dude. Don't give me that. Oh, Nick, Maguire wants to go to the World War One Museum. Who? Maguire. Nice. I'm in. Yeah. You guys set a date. I'll be there. Brian, come on up to Kansas City. Yeah, I don't make the rules. Nagoya's idea—that's where it's at, bud. I wasn't. I wasn't really. You know, the Iowa thing's not really. I was kind of serious about that. <laughs> Do it. So, you no, know, you know how delighted I would be if you were like four hours away from me. You wouldn't be able to get me out of your house. Well then, well you just—you're not good. At, you're not good at sales, are you? What? <laughs> You said I'm not good at sales? Yeah, you no, just, not I, at all. I'm not interested now. <laughs> you know, I'm atrocious at sales. <laughs> but, uh, no, that'd be outstanding. I, I don't even know how to explain to you how happy I'd be if you did that. Uh, you know, that's a, what I find weird is uh, people like in the Midwest, I guess, See here in Arizona, I take pride in knowing, you know, knowing knowing the cities and towns around here, you know, and the area. And so, boy, you say like Lorenda to another person, I they're like, "Where's that?" <laughs> Dude. Wait, isn't Clark Commando uh, Marker's area? Uh -huh. I thought yep. he lived way out on one of the coasts. Does he live in the Kansas City area? No, he's in California. Huh. He's in Lodi. That's right. If you pour us, uh, uh Aguilar says, if you pour us to play Corbo, I wouldn't mind playing Cobra. You know what? 
wonder if I can pick that up pretty cheap. Because uh, I would probably play that game. Go ahead, put it on YouTube. So, yeah. I'm pretty yeah, shocked I mean, that you that one. I mean, I don't know much about it, um, but I would think of anything in the in the Western Front, that would be a good one for that has some maneuver in it. Oh, yeah, it'd be awesome, man. Off, um, them cutting off the 15th Army or something like that. That's probably the Filet's pocket, yeah. yeah. Um, you German armor tends to be a little hard pressed because most of it got wrecked, you know, in the defense of the Bocage country, but even right. so. Boys were screaming at the door. Sorry. All right. So they like running up and down that hallway. So, but after this, I'm gonna build up those uh, 65 hats, and then I'm gonna put the screen on the arena. Get that done with. So. Hell yeah, man. And uh, you know, use those rules, but I'm gonna figure a way to where you have to roll a task roll or something if you want to push a guy into the spikes. So. You can always just do it as, a, you know, the opposed combat rolls, and then if you get more stuff, then you can get after it. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, they had a lot of damn energy for how late it is, Bry Guy. Three-year-old boy, two-year-old boy. What a joyful household. Uh, ah, see you later, Chris. See you, Chris, buddy. Good luck. Uh, Wait for the last roof. Oh, God dang, you printed that shit fast, buddy. Uh, that was done. Mm. So, uh, I know. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and call it. Yeah, I was about to say, I just finished up with uh, the black. I want to it's about right. about that time to start heading off to nighty night times. I definitely need to see Fallout, dude. So yeah, I'm gonna go watch that and go to bed. I gotta watch episode four. <laughs> so, but hey, guys in chat, thanks for joining. It. Uh, I can barely talk right now; my nose is a mess. Uh, Jeff, big worry, thanks, guys. Um, yep. I'll let you guys know next time we're gonna do this and uh, let everyone else know. So. All right, you guys take care, and I guess I hit this in stream. And All right, guys. Oh, Nord just finished, too. Perfect. Job, We're golden. Man. All right. Uh, bye, guys. Everyone wave. Bye. Bye, bye guys.